Hi, my name is Sean Walker, and I'd like to talk to you about LibreOffice today. Now, the, when I first began using LibreOffice, I wasn't crazy about it, but the more I've used it, the more I like it. It is a very basic Office suite. However, what makes it great is the number of extensions that are available, and those extensions allow the user to customize their experience with it. Now, as a language educator and writing instructor, my main interest has been a LibreOffice writer. I've spent quite a bit of time researching different extensions. So today, what I'd like to do is tell you what my top three favorite extensions are. The first is under the tools, and it's language tool. This is a basic grammar checker. The LibreOffice comes with a spell checker only, so this is a great addition. I actually tested it against Grammarly, and while the paid version of Grammarly has some additional features, the free versions of both are pretty equivalent. In fact, Language Tool found more mistakes than Grammarly did in the free version, so I highly recommend this extension and it can be used in any program. The next extension I like is Linguist. It does a lot with unrecognized words, word lists, word frequency, which you can use to have talk to students about vocabulary, but the one that I like the most are the statistics. It kind of keeps all the other information in one place. It provides you with the number of words on the text, number of full stops, in other words, how many sentences are there, the number of long words. So new writers often use very short words, and there won't be that many longer words. Or they're, they're going to try to impress an instructor, and it's going to read like they've swallowed a dictionary, and there's going to be way too many long words. This can be a starting point of talking to your student about issues with vocabulary. And it also gives indication of issues with sentence structure with the number of words per full stop, or in other words, the number of words in a sentence. If this has a lot of, a very high average of the number of words per sentence, you're probably looking at a document that has a lot of run-ons and comma splices. And that can be a starting point for your students to really start watching their sentence boundaries. It finally also has lexical variety, which counts not only word differences, but are they using different forms of the same word? And how many word filler words, like too many prepositional phrases are being used? So this really is almost a quality of writing indicator. We usually wanna see that up a little higher to about 0.56 rather than 0.454. So again, this is not designed to grade a paper, but it is a good starting point, and it gives your students a really nice tool to use at home before they turn in the paper. Now my third favorite tool is over here. It is this black comment box. You highlight a section of text, or you could highlight the whole thing, and you click on this, and it will read the text out loud. Now, why would a writing instructor want a reader? Because one of the best tools I have found for my students is to read their papers out loud. The human brain will trick us into thinking what is in our head is actually on the page when it's not. I always encourage my students to read their papers out loud, or better yet, have their roommate or a spouse or a girlfriend read it to them. This bypasses all that. They can actually use this extension, pop in their ear earbuds, and have the text read to them. The voice isn't overly mechanical, although it is somewhat mechanical, but it's a really great tool for them to edit their papers. So those are my top three favorite extensions for LibreOffice Writer. Thank you for listening.